For the 2002 World Cup, both South Korea and Japan had submitted their bids respectively. But after FIFA's intervention, both parties agreed and decided to host the World Cup jointly. This was the first ever World Cup to be hosted by two nations and in Asia. Tensions grew as the European countries raised questions about the match timing, the travel cost, as well as weather. But FIFA stood still and the tournament was hosted within time. Both Japan and South Korea built 10 new stadiums and numerous infrastructural marvels for the World Cup. This was also the Samurai Blue's first appearance at the event. Every big name except the Netherlands from Europe was present. China was a notable inclusion. The most shocking event came within just a few hours since the Fenernova ball rolled. Defending champions France was defeated by debutant Senegal. But the most shocking of them all was yet to be witnessed. Host Japan didn't impress anyone in their maiden World Cup campaign. So the onus was truly on the Koreans, who were placed in a group along with Poland, Portugal and the USA. Being relatively more experienced than other Asian counterparts in the World Cup, South Korea Football Federation appointed Goose Hiddink as their manager in 2000. The preparation brought mixed results. South Korea was placed fourth in the 2002 CONCACAF Gold Cup and exited the group stage in the Confederations Cup. So even their most ardent Red Devils were not even hopeful about reaching further from the group stages. But Hiddink's team, who were mostly chosen from the domestic league, started well. They beat Poland 2-0 in the opening match. In the next match, they drew 1-1 with the USA. Korea needed a draw in their last match against Portugal to qualify for the next round, but the team led by Hong Myung Bo beat Portugal 1-0, courtesy of a goal from Ji Sung Park. George Costa and Beto were red carded, resulting in Portugal spending 24 minutes with 9 men. In the next round, they faced mighty Italy, with the likes of Del Piero, Totti and Buffo in their prime and veterans Maldini, Nesta and Vieri in the twilight of their careers. Korea started well and got a penalty in the early minute. But a weak attempt by Jung Hwan was saved by Buffo. And Italy opened the scoring with a header from Vieri in the 17th minute. As the result remained the same till the second half, the Korean fans were getting ready to bear heartbreak once again. Then came the equalizer from Seoul Ki Hyun, followed by a golden goal from An Jung Hwan in the 117th minute, who would compensate for his mistake after missing the penalty. Apart from the heroics of the South Koreans, the game was famous for another reason, which was the poor standard of refereeing from Ecuadorian official Byron Moreno, who disallowed a perfectly executed Italian goal followed by a harsh red card on Francesco Totti for simulation. Countless tactical fouls from Koreans went unpunished. The same thing repeated in the quarter-final clash between South Korea and Spain. The Egyptian referee denied two perfectly executed Spanish goals, yet replaced showed both of them were legal. The match went in a tiebreaker, where the Koreans needed each of their sport kicks while Joaquin of Spain missed one. Both Italian and Spanish press were fuming at referees, but most of their wrath was pointed towards FIFA, whom they have objected to manipulating the decisions to favor the host. As usual, FIFA president Seb Blatter dismissed all those allegations as human mistakes and set up an inquiry commission for further investigations. The Koreans, on the other hand, didn't care. They were ready to take on three-time champions Germany in the semi-final. 
but they lost courtesy of a goal from Michael Balak. They also lost the third place match against Turkey. But the triumph of the national team was universally applauded. The South Korean government announced the exemption of military duties for the members of the squad. Hee Dink was offered honorary citizenship and a villa in Seoul. Hong Myung Bo became the first Asian player to win the bronze ball after being the third best player of the tournament. Most importantly, the president of their arch rival, North Korean Football Federation, also congratulated the Red Devils.